King Henry V of England has died, leaving behind a young widow, Catherine of Valois. She was the daughter of the Mad King, Charles VI of France, and the mother of King Henry VI of England. She would begin a secret relationship with the master of her wardrobe, Owen Tudor. The two would marry in secret, and no date of the union is known. Soon after, in 1430, Edmund Tudor was born at Much Haddam Palace. Along with his brother Jasper, the two would become favorites of King Henry VI, as they were his closest blood relatives, granting them titles and lands when they came of age. In 1436, his mother Catherine retired to Bermondsey Abbey, where she died on January 3rd, 1437. With Catherine dead, the Queen's enemies moved against Owen. He was called to London, but was acquitted by the royal court of charges relating to the marriage. While en route to Wales, he was arrested and imprisoned at Newgate Prison. After he escaped in early 1438, he was recaptured and imprisoned once more in Windsor Castle. Henry, being fond of his half-brothers, looked to their care and education, as they were brought up in the Henry's royal household. Edmund and his brother Jasper were brought up in the care of Catherine de la Pole, the daughter of Michael de la Pole, second Earl of Suffolk, with whom they remained until at least March of 1442. Edmund became Earl of Richmond on December 5, 1449, and Jasper, Earl of Pembroke, on November 23, 1452. As earls and half-brothers of the king, Edmund and Jasper had unparalleled precedence over all other non-clerics in the court, with the exception of dukes. They were each given lands, although Jasper received a yearly stipend until Pembroke became available. After seven years of marriage to Margaret of Anjou, Henry was still childless, and the royal line was at risk. The Tudor brothers were considered as possible heirs. There were concerns that while they were of French royal descent through Catherine, they had no blood relation to the English throne. By 1452, Edmund and Jasper were among Henry's small group of personal advisors. They were the only blood relations in the court. However, neither was skilled at matters of state within England, and instead they were primarily given the task of ensuring the authority of the king within Wales. This resulted in a long-held affection for the family in that country. The formal investiture of the duo took place in the Tower of London on January 5th, 1453. Later that year, on March 6, they took their seats in the Parliament of England as the head of all earls in the court. After a petition by the House of Commons of England, both Jasper and Edmund were recognized officially as legitimate half-brothers of the king, and the statutory disabilities associated with being considered Welsh were removed. In 1452 and 1453, Henry gave them large monetary grants and also gave Edmund property in Westmoreland and Lancashire. Edmund ran a profitable estate and invested in the wool industry based in Boston, Lincolnshire. Henry also granted him the medieval palace of Baynard's Castle, near to the River Thames in London. In the summer of 1453, Henry VI suffered a mental breakdown which lasted over 17 months. Several parties sought to take power during this period. Henry's wife, Margaret of Anjou, demanded to be declared regent. The Tudor brothers supported Richard of York, who sought to become protector of the realm. Edmund did attend York's Council of Advisors, although not as frequently as Jasper. Henry VI recovered around Christmas of 1454 and dismissed York with resulting hostility. This left the Tudor brothers in a quandary. Margaret Beaufort was the daughter and only child of John Beaufort, 1st Duke of Somerset. Through her father, she also was a great-granddaughter of John of Gaunt, and as such, carried a claim to the throne. Thus she was married as a child at nine years old to John de la Pole, son of the ambitious Duke of Suffolk. However, the Duke was murdered in 1450. In early 1453, the marriage of Margaret and John was annulled, and Edmund was given wardship of Margaret, still only nine years old. Edmund married Margaret on November 1st, 1455 at Bletsoe Castle. It was through Margaret that Edmund's son could claim the English throne. 
The marriage was consummated immediately and Margaret became pregnant. While Edmund was in Wales, the king had deposed York. In retaliation, York sent 2,000 men under William Herbert to take South Wales. When they arrived at Carmarthen Castle, they took the stronghold and captured Edmund Tudor. Edmund was left behind, imprisoned in Carmarthen Castle. Edmund became infected with the bubonic plague and died there. He was buried at the nearby Franciscan church in Carmarthen. There were suspicions that Edmund may have been murdered, and so a trial was held several months later, with many parties accused, but no one found guilty. Edmund's son would become King Henry VII of England, the first Tudor king.